Taylor Kitsch, born on April 8, 1981 in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, is a versatile actor and model who has made a mark in the world of entertainment. Best known for his portrayal of Tim Riggins in the acclaimed NBC television series Friday Night Lights from 2006 up to 2011, Kitsch's career has been characterized by dedication, resilience, and a passion for his craft. Taylor Kitsch's journey began in Kelowna, a picturesque city in British Columbia. His parents, Susan Green and Drew Kitsch, led modest lives. His mother worked for the BC Liquor Board, while his father was employed in construction. Taylor's parents separated when he was just one year old, leaving his mother to raise him and his two older brothers, Brody and Damon, in a mobile home park. He also has two younger maternal half-sisters. Kitsch's early years were far from glamorous as they navigated life in Port Moody and Anmore. He attended Glen Eagle Secondary School in Coquitlam. At the tender age of three, he laced up his first pair of ice skates, setting the stage for a promising ice hockey career. Taylor Kitsch's dedication to the sport led him to play junior ice hockey for the Langley Hornets in the British Columbia Hockey League. However, fate had other plans. A knee injury in 2002 abruptly ended his hockey aspirations. Undeterred by this setback, Kitsch decided to explore other avenues. He enrolled in nutrition and economics courses at the University of Lethbridge, where he spent a year and shared a home with his brother. These academic pursuits provided valuable life lessons and diverse experiences. In 2002, Taylor Kitsch embarked on a journey to New York City, drawn by the allure of modeling opportunities with EMZ. He soon realized that his aspirations extended beyond the world of fashion. Kitsch's determination saw him simultaneously studying the art of acting under the tutelage of coach Shayla Gray while becoming a certified personal trainer and nutritionist. His early days in the city were challenging as he occasionally found himself sleeping on subway trains due to homelessness. His modeling career took off when he signed with IMG Models and became a prominent face for iconic clothing lines such as Abercrombie and & Fitch and & Diesel and continued when he worked with celebrity photographer John Russo on the limited edition coffee table book about face. However, the turning point in Taylor Kitsch's career occurred in 2006 when he he was cast as Tim Riggins in the NBC sports teen drama series Friday Night Lights. The show, based on Peter Berg's 2004 film of the same name, was set in the fictional town of Dillon, Texas. Kitsch's portrayal of Tim Riggins, a high school student and the Dillon Panthers' fullback running back, was a revelation. For five seasons, Kitsch brought depth and authenticity to his character, earning universal critical acclaim from both critics and viewers. The series debuted in October 2006 and boasted over 7.7 .7 million viewers. While the show's success left fans yearning for a film sequel, Kitsch opted out of reprising his role. Kitsch's romantic relationship with his Friday Night Lights co-star, Minka Kelly, garnered attention and headlines. Their on-screen characters, Lila and Tim, shared a tumultuous love story, mirroring elements of their off-screen relationship. In the midst of Friday Night Lights, Taylor Kitsch took on the role of Pogue Perry in The Covenant, a supernatural thriller that explored the lives of four young witches. His magnetic presence on screen earned him recognition beyond the show's fan base. One intriguing chapter in Taylor Kitsch's career was his portrayal of Gambit in X-Men Origins Wolverine in 2008. While the film aimed to introduce a new era for the X-Men franchise, Kitsch's Gambit left a lasting impression on fans. Though recently, Kitsch expressed interest in reprising the role of Gambit, provided it was done justice and embraced a darker tone. However, the character of Gambit was later revisited by Channing Tatum, leaving fans to speculate on what could have been had Kitsch's version continued. In 2010, Kitsch starred in Steven Silver's The Bang Bang Club, a historical drama set in South Africa during the final days of apartheid. To authentically portray photojournalist Kevin Carter, he underwent a remarkable physical transformation, shedding 35 pounds in just two months. This dedication to his craft showcased Kitsch's commitment to his roles. Hollywood soon took 
notice of Taylor Kitsch's talent, and in November 2010, The Hollywood Reporter recognized him as one of the young male actors poised to take over Hollywood's A-list. Keech's next venture was the titular role in Disney's John Carter in 2012, a film based on Edgar Rice Burroughs' fantasy novel, A Princess of Mars. He portrayed a Confederate soldier transported to Mars, despite the film's underwhelming performance at the box office. The year 2012 also marked a flurry of projects for Kitsch, including Peter Berg's Battleship, an adaptation of Hasbro's toy game, where he played Lieutenant Alex Hopper. This film reunited United Kitsch with Berg and his former Friday Night Lights co-star Jesse Plemons. In Savages, directed by Oliver Stone, Kitsch starred alongside Blake Lively, Salma Hayek, and Aaron Taylor Johnson, earning critical praise for his authenticity and intensity on screen. In 2013, Taylor Kitsch showcased his versatility by appearing in The Grand Seduction, a remake of Jean-Francois Pouliot's French-Canadian film La Grande Seduction. 2003, directed by Don McKellar. He also starred in another Peter Berg film, Lone Survivor, based on Marcus Luttrell's book, sharing the screen with Jim Parsons, Julia Roberts, and Mark Ruffalo. Keech's talents transcended film, as he delivered a compelling performance in Ryan Murphy's The Normal Heart, 2014. This HBO production featured him alongside notable actors like Mark Ruffalo, Julia Roberts, and Jim Parsons. The film, which aired on May 25, 2014, explored the early days of the AIDS crisis in New York City. Throughout his career, Taylor Kitsch remained open to diverse roles, even considering the lead role in the American remake of The Raid. While the remake never materialized, his willingness to explore various genres and characters underscored his commitment to his craft. Taylor Kitsch's talent was not confined to the silver screen. In 2015, he starred in the second season of HBO's critically acclaimed series True Detective. His portrayal of Paul Woodruck alongside Vince Vaughn, Rachel McAdams, and Colin Farrell further solidified his status as a versatile actor who could excel in both television and film. He starred in American Assassin and Only the Brave, displaying his ability to tackle diverse roles with skill and dedication in 2017. In 2018, Kitsch took on the challenging role of cult leader David Koresh in the Paramount Network miniseries Waco. His portrayal of Koresh was lauded for its authenticity and depth, showcasing his dedication to delving into complex characters. In 2019, Kitsch appeared in 21 Bridges alongside Chadwick Boseman and Sienna Miller and took a lead role in Neil Blomkamp's Inferno. Kitsch starred in the German TV series The Defeated in 20. 20, sharing the screen with Michael C. Hall, Logan Marshall Green, Nina Haas, and Tuppence Middleton. His participation in this international series demonstrated his versatility as an actor, transcending cultural and linguistic boundaries. Continuing his television journey, Taylor Kitsch played CIA ground branch operative Ben Edwards in the prime video action thriller series The Terminal List in 2022. While Taylor Kitsch's career has been marked by impressive accomplishments, he remains humble and dedicated to his craft. His dedication extends beyond the entertainment industry, as he has been an advocate for veterans' issues. This commitment stemmed from his close relationship with retired Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell, which developed during the filming of Lone Survivor. Taylor Kitsch's journey from a modest upbringing in Canada to a celebrated actor in Hollywood is a testament to his talent, dedication, and resilience. His diverse roles in television and film have showcased his versatility as an actor. While some projects face challenges, Kitsch's commitment to his craft has remained unwavering, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.